In this diagram, we're looking at the typical instrumentation for a flare knockout drum, also known as a KO drum, a vital part of every flare system. The primary purpose of this vessel is to separate liquids from the gas stream before the gas is sent to the flare. This ensures only clean gas is burned, while condensed liquids are drained safely to a sump system. The inlet line from the process plant carries the gas-liquid mixture into the drum. Inside the vessel, the liquid settles at the bottom while the vapors rise and exit from the top. On the outlet side, you can see flow instrumentation, a flow element, FE, flow transmitter, FT, and temperature transmitter, TT. These send signals to the flow compensation unit, XS101, which calculates the corrected flare gas flow rate for monitoring and reporting. For level control, the drum has level transmitters, LT, that continuously sense the liquid level. Their signal goes to the level indicating controller, LIC, which adjusts the control valve, LV, through the positioner, LY, to maintain the liquid within the desired range. The drained liquid flows onward to the sump pump. Two additional level transmitters provide safety trips. The high-high level trip the plant upstream and isolates closing the emergency shutdown valve, UZV, in the inlet line to prevent liquid carryover into the flare header. The low-low level trip prevents pump cavitation by isolating the drain by closing the ESD valve in the outlet line if the vessel empties too far. In this PNID, green lines show process flow, purple dotted lines represent electrical signals, and blue dashed lines indicate pneumatic control air. Altogether, this system provides automatic level control, continuous pressure monitoring, and safety interlocks ensuring that the flare operates safely and efficiently. By tracing each tag, LT, LEC, LV, UZV, and XS101, you can easily understand how measurement, control, and shutdown functions integrate within the flare system.